Okay guys, so you've been watching our previous videos talking about posing and lighting and um, what to say on camera. Now we're gonna talk about composition and camera setup, okay? This is really important for setting your videos up to look casual, but also have a professional look to them so that you are confident with what you're putting out with your casual videos on social media and on your website, okay? So first of all, let's talk about framing your shot. Now I wanna use the example in the graphic here. This is my favorite way to set up video. Now you can see in the graphic, I have probably about an apple of space above my head. You can imagine that there's a little apple sitting on top of my head and that gives me enough space above my head. Also, if you remember from a previous video, we showed you the tripod and the setup of height. I also have that camera at eye level. If that camera is at eye level, I'm just going to get the best composition for my face. And then you can see I have the composition coming all the way down so that it's up to about the top of my hips and my hands are in the frame. Now, the reason why I suggest this, a lot of people do videos and they are just showing their head and up to the top of their chest. A couple of things kind of happen when, when you have a video that close in. First of all, we're dealing with iPhones which have wide angle lenses, lenses on them. And so it can distort your face being that close to the video and kind of make your nose look a little bit bigger. It can spread your face a little bit. I don't love it. I just don't think it's all that attractive. And we wanna look attractive in our business videos, I'm sure, okay? So the other reason why I also like my hands in my video and to shoot from the hip with an apple above the head when, when I'm doing these casual videos is I'm a gesturer. So if our hands are not in the video and we crop the video, the composition of the video up to our chest and just have a tiny head, again, not only are we you know, stretching our face with that wide angle lens, but you can't see what our hands are doing then. And so we start to look like we're shaking in the videos, okay? And people are wondering why, and it just doesn't look that professional. One additional point to go with this slide as well is if you don't want to do the horizontal composition, there is the option to do the vertical, the vertical composition. Um, you would use this for things like uh, Facebook stories, Instagram stories. The thing you want to think about here when it comes to that composition, instead of what Lindsay said with the apple above your head, you want to have a pineapple above your head. So it just leaves that little extra room. It's still kind of showing you until about your waist area, hip area. A little bit longer. A little bit, yeah. little bit lower than that. Um, it just gives that nicer composition and then that kind of aspect ratio fits perfectly into those, those platforms. So Instagram stories, Facebook stories. Otherwise, if you're posting straight to Facebook or YouTube, you generally don't want to film in those formats. But if, you're, if you know you're going to just post to those stories, then you can film in that format. We also just wanted to show you a couple of other ideas of composition depending on what your business is. You can see real estate agent Ryan Arditi on the left of the screen. We did a photo series for him and this was a house that he was actually trying to sell at the time. But it's beautiful composition. You can see the house in the background. You can see how he stood. His posing looks really, really good. But he's also showing off the house. He wasn't the only feature in this shot. The house was also very important, so we tried to think about the composition of what was going on. Then in the top right, you'll see Jim Johnson. He is a fantastic fitness trainer here in the Santa Clarita Valley. I wanted to show this shot because he's kind of pushed off to the side and shot on a white background. So you can see you can put memes in there, you can put graphics in there, all sorts of fun things using programs like Canva or Adobe Spark to create graphics for your business. Then the last one down in the bottom right hand corner is New Hall Refinery and one of their head bartenders, which unfortunately he isn't here anymore, Peter, he was such a great bartender, but they still have amazing bartenders over in, at New Hall Refinery. But I, we just loved the composition of showing the beers behind the bar and the kind of place it was and the beautiful light coming into the, the bar area. And just the kind of person Peter was, this composition just worked really, really well for him. So when you're setting up your shots, again, go back to the reason of why you're creating these videos, why you're creating these shots, and match that to the composition that, that matches what you're trying to portray. So thank you so much for watching today's video. 
If you have any questions about the content, please email or call us at the information on the screen. We hope you have a great day.